Novel Audio presents The Cabin by Natasha Preston Read for you by Morag Sims Carl was sprawled out on the floor with his mouth wide open, breathing deeply. His jet-black hair stuck out in all directions like a bird's nest. Aaron was curled up beside him, sleeping in the fetal position. They clearly couldn't handle the amount of alcohol either. They were both in the same place Blake and I had left them last night. Blake watched us with a curiosity I didn't quite understand. I had a feeling he didn't have many close friends, which was a shame, because beyond that I-don't-care attitude, he was a great guy, I thought, from what I'd seen anyway. Where are Josh and Courtney? Megan asked. I shrugged. I don't hear anyone else up, so maybe they're asleep still? God, Megan, I need aspirin. Carl's eyes flicked open and widened as he saw how close Aaron was to him. I felt so rough I couldn't even laugh when he shoved him away, making Aaron wake with a gasp. Aaron looked up, dazed. What? He rubbed his eyes and winced. Christ. I'm making tea. Everyone in? I asked, receiving grunts in replace of a yes and a look of disgust from Blake. I smiled, remembering what he'd wanted before. Coffee for you, Blake. I walked into the kitchen. My head was swimming, and everything looked a little fuzzy. A sea of red flashed in front of my eyes. I blinked hard. You're losing it. Opening my eyes again, I stared at the floor. It took me a few moments to register what I was seeing. Bright, thick blood stretched from the middle of the kitchen to what looked like behind the island. I gasped. There was so much blood. My heart raced, and the ends of my fingertips tingled. The metallic smell filled my lungs and made me gag. My body turned cold and started to shake. What? Courtney? I whispered, not even hearing my own voice over the ringing in my ears. Oh God, don't pass out, Mackenzie. Someone came up behind me. What the? Carl whispered, stepping around me. Shit. Stay back, Kens. Blake was right behind Kyle. What's going on? He asked. Against Kyle's orders, I stepped around the kitchen island and my stomach lurched. No, I cried, pressing my hand over my mouth as bile rose in my throat. Courtney and Josh lay on the floor in a pool of crimson blood. <laughs> 